anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Upy on Camera, where today we're watching the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. First of all, I have a slight confession to make. I'm not going into this totally blind as I wanted to. Fortunately, I got a little spoiled to the back half of this because when I was w visiting my family over Thanksgiving, they had this playing in the background. Now, I tried not to look at it, but I couldn't stop myself from hearing it and seeing little bits of it but I'm still excited to watch it because this is the Guardians of the Galaxy there's so much fun and the idea of having them do a holiday special is, is just hilarious especially when you think a holiday special these days it's always like overshadowed by Star Wars and their holiday special but this was one of the first ideas to go on Disney Plus apparently and it was written in super short. But more important than that, as for timing, it is the last Marvel product of 2022 and the last Marvel product of Phase 4. How? How is that? God, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like WandaVision was just a few months ago. But no, we're here. It's over. I know Phase 4 is shorter, and that's the biggest reason why. Phase 4 is shorter in the amount of years it takes, but it has so many more projects, thanks to the TV shows and everything. It's just a very weird situation. But I've been looking forward to this to a, for a while. I still kind of hope we could see Santa in it, but I doubt it. Hey, me from editing here, butting in for a second. I did, in fact, record this in December of 2022. However, I obviously didn't get a chance to edit it, so I know it's late, but at the very least, it's coming out with the third Guardians of the Galaxy movie, right? If you enjoy this video, consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more of me, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you don't want to do either, then let's just get into the video already. Okay, so the special feature thing is going to be the same. Also, I forgot to put on the, hat, the Santa hat, but I'm not going to re-record my intro. Christmas version of the Marvel Studio intro. Oh, it's animated. What? Oh, this is a flashback. Okay, hey, this is actually nice because it it aligns with how he was in the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Ever since buying nowhere from the collector. Buying who where from the collect what now? You bought nowhere. Cosmo! Oh god, we've been waiting for this character to show up. Right, I forgot. Cosmo's female now. Hi, Beezer Mikatakalok. Beezer Mikatakalok. God, name. Uh, I do movie. know, however, you might be able to that this, this, this is an actual band huh? that just got, like, alien oh. makeup. Everything... Santa is a furry <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, small group. <laughs> <laughs> Groot dance in the background. It's so weird because he's so much buff than the buffer than the original. It's like baby Groot scaled up. And I get and I did read those part of the design, but still. And I'm just trying to talk as much as possible because I'm sh wonder I'm hoping these songs don't get copyrighted. This time is here. Okay, I did hear this song, so I'm not entirely sure. This stupid hat used to stay on my head so easily. I've got so much hair, and it's just like. What? I'm just gonna pop off. Guns of Galaxy Holiday Special. Is that your cool sister? Mm hmm. Why don't you just tell people the truth? In Peter's hindsight, that reveal isn't so shocking. I mean, I him to be really? That Is she, she's no, just I'm what? A typical Zardos. example of her species? Oh, and she can you. put him to sleep if sister, he's a I real celestial or not? Like, that's an immensely powerful He's feat. So sad about but if gone. she's a combination of her species Maybe and him, really no wonder she's so, yeah, she's so powerful. It would make him happy. Well, it's the only reason that she'd be there in the first place. Except you ate them all. Get over the Zargnats! 
We could give him the quilt as a present. It's a bad idea. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Can you imagine how he felt when this was like brought You're up to him? It's like, hey, honey. we want you to play yourself and get kidnapped by a get back from New York. Well, that's a new ship. Why'd you replace the Benatar? I mean, this thing is much bigger. <laughs> Someone is having just a straight panic attack. It's like, no. Yeah, but Groot is more expensive. They're just there. How did you get from the Hollywood sign? Down? Okay, whatever. But it is fun to see them walking around places I've been. Is that a GoBot? No, nope, that's someone else. I'm sorry, GoBots kill his cousin. I'm sorry, what? GoBots are real? That's weird. He <laughs> thinks you're close. Oh my God, Drax! Why? Kingo's Christmas. <laughs> Has they been kidnapped at this point? <laughs> She's looking. <laughs> they're just messing around. They barely remember what they're here for. <laughs> Thousands of people on this planet. We don't even exactly. Know where but you ended up you know where Kevin so Bacon lives? severely, severely close to where he lives. I mean, why? What, what would have happened if you landed in India or something? And just walked around asking for Kevin Bates. It's 40 bucks. Give it to me for free. <laughs> Mantis. Give me all your money. Hey, Mantis. Is what did her power turn into? <laughs> turn into straight up mind control. I mean, affect your emotions is a little bit of a jump away from give me money, Miss Empath. How convenient, he's watching a Christmas movie where Cat Santa gets taken by aliens. And don't break in, guys, don't break in. Well, you were gonna just kidnap him anyway, so fine, break him. Seriously. <laughs> uh, I think that's one of the first times we've seen Drax use some more, like, crazy feats. Usually his feats are all in the not dying from insane... Things department. I want this funny man. Don't just take stuff. Don't just take stuff. I want this. But I guess that's. And that's why you don't have glass near your front door. It's a stupid idea. Oh God, that's creepy sport. Nuts. This isn't his actual house, right? Responsible and held on to it. Drax. <laughs> <laughs> he actually has to think about it. No! Come on, Drax. Is you're running back to the front yard again? Isn't there another one? Why are they jumping like that? <laughs> God, this is so. If this wasn't Marvel. This would be horrifying. And I guess that's the point. <laughs> hey, that's a... That's Kung Fu Panda's line. Also, <laughs> of course he's bulletproof. I mean, come on, you survive, like, spaceship crashes? You're, you're not gonna get hurt by a bullet. Honestly, this is an upgrade for Mandis too. Because she can fight really well. Plus, using her powers can put people to sleep. Instead of killing anyone. Hey! <laughs> A little bit too much, Drax. We are not doing anything wrong. You're doing We're something wrong. <laughs> He's trying to be nice. I really wanted this, but we're even now, okay? No, you're not even. No. Sure. Friend is being an idiot. Well, at least you guys have like a really cool story. Hey, what were you doing on Christmas? Oh, I was fighting two random aliens who, went, who, who kidnapped Kevin Bacon. God, you stole the entire store. He's an actor. He's never actually saved anyone. <laughs> but actors are repugnant. I know. Oh, I love how they're so annoyed, and Peter was like, 
Uh, I, it's gonna be like, oh no, all my lies to make Earth sound cool. And of course, these are two stupid ones, so they think that Peter is an idiot. His memory's all screwed up. Nope. They see, they're so nice. He doesn't remember things right. Not that he's lying to you. During World War II. No, That's the first thing his mind thinks of. Oh, hello. I'm the Batman. <laughs> I mean, I'm, hello. Be Kevin Bacon, but like if you didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't suck. <laughs> really great about all of it. Yeah, because you've been drugged. Mm. So are these sets going to be reused? Or are these sets in Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Because it seems like a really big thing to make just for this special. I mean, that in itself is a nice, <laughs> is a nice gesture. Like, can you imagine the amount of lights it wants to do that? <laughs> the reaction. <laughs> It's really great because he's actually happy and then it's like Kevin Bacon he's like, oh my god, you idiots, what did you do? <laughs> See? He's so happy and then like the box is moving. He's like, oh no. Good <laughs> rock. I love he's smart enough to realize it's like Mantis. What did you do? Get Kevin. Prepare the Bowie for his trans. The Bowie. That's that's the new. Go get Kevin. Go get Kevin Bacon. Don't don't kill him. Also, it's interesting that she has that gun because it. I think she has the same gun in the uh, What If Show series. Cause it looks like Peter's like blasters, but without the bottom shot. In all honesty, they're about to sympathize man, Kevin Bacon. He's no gonna stick around for a little bit, but I don't think he'd really do that. It's like, nah, just take me home. Anything within about 400 million light years? I Come, just, just yeah, just a couple. Of yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm we need some of those on Earth. I'm playing music. Oh god, I really didn't expect this to be a musical. Look, of all the things I expected to see, I wasn't expecting to see Kevin Bacon, Bacon <laughs> singing a Christmas song. <laughs> oh, a new Game Boy! <laughs> I know how you can play it, your fingers have gotten so huge, but good for you. But it's like, literally, from the last group we saw, it's like this group decided to go hit the gym. For sure, 100% small group. No! <laughs> That's Bucky's arm! He really did get that arm! <laughs> Nebula! <laughs> if they use that as an excuse to give Bucky a new arm design in Thunderbolts, God, I will love Marvel. Ah, <laughs> she's getting into it. Aww. A little model of them all. <laughs> How did he get that? That's all the scenes! I mean, but how did you know that happened? You have to just... The speed of craftsmanship here is insane! <laughs> oh my god, it's going on infinitely smaller! <laughs> well, honey, how did you- what were you doing? I was like, oh yeah, I got kidnapped by some aliens. I guess all actors aren't complete pieces of shit. love how they're just ins insulting themselves. <laughs> Taser face! <laughs> Even he got a present in there. This rotoscoped animation is actually quite nice. And it's, it's a fun effect. Ah, It's one of his little table things that he likes so much. And his blasters. Because he got him an explanation for everything. In all fairness, I still kind of hoped that that in the third movie he'll get his element blasters, but I'll accept I guess I wanted... This is the greatest Christmas gift I could ever get. I mean, yeah, the real reason he's sad right now is probably because Gamora's gone. <laughs> and now he's got a little extra bit of real family. Just don't think about how your other, all your other half siblings are dead. That's fine. Really should I really? 
wonder why this didn't come out closer to Christmas. Oh, just open. I feel like that would have made more sense, but then coming out in November. Oh, there's an end credit scene. <laughs> You're decorating it like a Christmas tree. Now we gotta have another special. Hey, don't break the fourth wall. <laughs> well, that was it. The Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. The second Marvel special presentation. And uh, the last thing for Phase 4 2022. Lots and lots of titles for this episode. For this thing. All in all, it was fun. I don't know what else I could say. I wasn't expecting as much music as we got. But it was fun. It was cute. And I still liked it, even if Santa Claus didn't show up. We had to spend a little bit more time with Mantis and Drax. And Peter, Swoke Groot is insane. I wish we could have spent more time with him, but obviously he and Rocket are both massive CGI. So you can't spend that much money on something like this. It's made me especially excited for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 because... It just has all those little hints for what that movie is going to be about. And it makes me excited. I love the story. I mean, come on, finally going after Kevin Bacon after talking about him for so long. I kind of wish it makes me also sad that Gamora in the story world, Gamora never got to meet him. She's dead. And he's, out of the whole group, she's the first one to, he to hear stories about Kevin Bacon. Last thing I want to talk about is that it, again, shows the power of these, not the power, but how great these special presentations can be, and they're great ways for Marvel to tell these mini stories, right? You don't have to have stories long enough for shows, you don't have to have stories big enough for a movie, but you can tell small, short little snippets in 40 to 50 minutes, and I really hope they do more special presentations. Maybe they can bounce out and, like, so people aren't constantly complaining of just like saturation or whatever. You could lower the amount of shows maybe and throw an extra special presentation in here too. I don't know. The possibility for these things are endless. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my reaction. What was your favorite part of this holiday special? Over here is whatever YouTube decides to show you. Over here is a place to my videos. And on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.